Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to describe how to write for a Haas CNC lathe a G03, let's rephrase that, G03 radius. It's also known as a counterclockwise circular interpolation. Long word. So, I'm going to describe this in two ways using cutter comp and doing it manually. If you are using a tooling bit that has a radius on it, so I'm not going to ramble on, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm just going to start from facing and go from there. So, and this video is mainly meant for beginners, and uh, I hope it helps. We'll find out. So let's say um, we have a radius bit of 0 0.0312, and using cutter comp, it was described in my previous video that in offsets, whatever tool you're using, you're going to have your X value, your Z value, your radius value will be that you write that in uh, the tab that says radius and then tooltip direction which usually is three but I would say nine times out of ten is three you know as far as the direction of the tooltip so okay so let's say we came in we came down we're facing the part and we're going down x negative point zero six two which was described in previous videos now writing with cutter comp there's really not a whole lot to it so i'm going to wrap it out so we're going to do a g0 g00 z.125 just to get the cutter away and now we're going to we're going to feed in g01 x0 z0 and we're going to do a feed rate I don't know, 10, 10 thousands. We're going to turn on cutter comp to G42 because we're on the outside. Now we're going, to, we're going to do a 250 radius and remember everything's doubled in X. So we're going, to go, we're going to subtract 500 from our finished dimension. So our finished dimension is one inch. So I'll subtract 500, so we go to x.5, x.500, and once you activate G01, you don't have to keep writing it in every line. You can, but you don't have to. And we'll, we'll keep the feed rate the same. Now we're going to do a G03, and I want to go up to x, 1.0, z, negative 250. R, because you have to have an R value, 0.250. And we'll slow the feed rate down a little bit. We'll squeeze this and we'll put it down to, we'll, uh, I don't know, seven thousandths per revolution. And then we have to activate G01 now, because we're going to do a straight line move. And Z negative, I don't know, we'll go 2.0. And then from there on out, it's whatever you want to do. So, and then whatever, when you're done doing that and you come off the part, say the part is an inch and an eighth, so a 1.125 in diameter. Let's go up to X1.2. X1.2. Turn the coolant off. Uh, we'll rapid, I don't know, we'll go X10.0, and we'll cancel cutter comp. which is G40, and then from there, just wrap it home. So that's all there is to it when you're using cutter comp in this scenario. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase cutter comp for now, and if you were manually programming it, you have to compensate for the radius of the tooling bit. So, I'll be back. Bam! I'm back. Okay, so in this example, we're 
we're not using cutter comps. So say you had a, your tooling bit with that radius bit on, the, on the tool, you have to add that now to the radius that you want to cut. So if you're doing a 250 radius, you have to add that to your 250. And I apologize for the mess. So that now becomes 281.2. And remember, in your X dimension, everything gets doubled. So you just take your 281.2, multiply that by 2, and you come up with 0.5624, and you're going to subtract that from the 1 inch. And the reason why, because as I explained in the other video, your cutting surfaces are down here and right here where everything is measured off of. So in theory, you're, that's what it's doing. I know it looks confusing, but if you command an X5 move, that's X5, but in theory, that's the tip that cuts that dimension, not here. So you have to go lower than that and compensate the value with the radius. So I know that sounds kind of tricky, but if you had like a real sharp point bit, you wouldn't have to do that. You can almost write essentially the X.5, the Z, or yeah, Z negative 0.250, and you wouldn't have to do that. But when you're using a radius bit, you have to compensate that value. Okay, well, I hope that doesn't sound too uh, over the top. In my next video, I'm going to be doing a G02. And instead of adding your uh, radius, you're going to be subtracting on a G02. And I'll explain that in that next coming video. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it, and I hope you found it uh, helpful. And uh, we'll see you again.